You know, the funny thing is every time I call a screen company and say, hey, I need some work done for an RV, click. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> I don't know. I just can't seem to get anybody to do any work for me. That's no so. good. Hey guys, Brian here from 5 to go and I'm joined by Dan from Home Meets Road. And this is a super, super special RV tour because you will never see this anywhere <laughs> other than where this guy is. <laughs> what is this? This is a 72... Bulls Arrow. Bulls Arrow. And yeah. there's no model, right? It's just... No model. Yeah, no the DMV model. loved that. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was a weak fight with the DMV. Ugh to get this thing properly registered because it has no model. When we decided to go full-time after watching you guys, oh. uh, we were looking around for RVs. We really didn't find anything we liked. So we were like, hey, how about just doing a vintage trailer and redoing it? Okay. Everybody wanted an arm and a leg for a uh, Airstream. Right. And we came across Bull's Arrow. And somehow this one was 15 miles from our house. Wow. Uh, it was in someone's backyard as a storage shed was actually sitting on the factory stabilizers, believe it or not, for 15 years. Wow. I don't have those anymore <laughs> because by the time I took them off, they were so bent. That Probably was, immobile. Yeah. yeah no <laughs> no crazy. way for me to reuse them. That's crazy. So you just found this thing yep. nearby and I remember seeing pictures way back when of this on casters sliding into your garage because your neighborhood would not allow you to work on it in the driveway? Yes, we had a uh, HOA. Luckily, we had a tandem garage. Okay. So it was a three car tandem, so two cars plus a third in the back. Oh, and that's a lot of room to work. We spent two days ripping everything off the roof, everything out from underneath, got a couple of Harbor Freight casters, set the thing on there, and pushed it in the garage <laughs> and closed the garage door and uh. 10 months later she came out. Yeah. Just smash cut and beautiful trailer rolls out. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Well, yeah, it's, it's a little more effort than that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so 72 Bulls Arrow. This is older than me and I'm assuming older than you. Um, so let's take a look at the outside super quick and then we'll head inside and see what the ridiculous amount of work that uh, Dan and his wife Jessa has put into this thing. All right, so from the front of this thing, you were telling me that you had to build this uh, protector for the window, right? Uh, yes, so you can see there used to be something here, uh -huh. but we have no idea what, and honestly, there is not a lot of documentation on what this thing used to look like. Okay. So we just went with some material we found at Home Depot <laughs> and slapped it together and it actually turned out pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> and then you got a planter and this is your AC unit if uh, my eyes yes. don't deceive me. So this is a 120 volt mini split. So this is not only our AC, but also our heater. Okay. Um, it has the main lines right here, just like you would have in a house. And right. then there's a unit actually inside. Okay, so we'll, we'll see that um, in a minute. Yeah, the nice thing with this one is usually it's around four to 500 watts. So okay. we can run this thing off our batteries, yeah. which is just amazing. Yeah, that's pretty low power, that's nice. Is there any insulation on this? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, right. uh, not a lot, but we actually insulated the entire unit. So as much as you could stuff in there, you did? Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. The factory ball was so screwed up that there was no saving it. Okay. So we actually had a welder come out, cut the whole thing, and we ended up going that route. And you were saying you have uh, two 30 amp receptacles. Yes, so as you obviously noticed from the lovely air conditioning, we do not have propane on board. Correct. We're all electric. I put in two just in case so we can run off shore power and I can run a generator at the same time. Okay. We have splitters on the inside so I can run like the air conditioning off one and run the entire rest of the trailer off the other. It has come in handy every once in a while. Yeah, but yeah. Not something I would recommend, but it's worked. Okay. Uh, and then work our way back here. Uh, very strange looking black sewer solution going on here. Yes. So you have a macerator and a composting toilet, right? Yes, both of which I don't recommend. Um, <laughs> after two years on the road with a composting toilet, I, I think I would like to try a regular uh -huh. RV toilet yeah. before. 
yeah. before making the choice again. I've, I've heard um, that from multiple people now. But do you after, guys do a lot of boondocking? We did initially, yeah. but we haven't been spending a lot of time on the West Coast. Yeah. And East Coast, it's a little hard. Yeah, I know most of the people we've met that have composting toilets, it's because they boondock so much. Yeah. And you can get way more days out of a composting toilet yes. than a black tank setup. I, we can get a month out of our composting Holy toilet. Cow. Yeah, and wow. since we have uh, 84 gallons of gray, if we change our routine a little bit mm -hmm. and all that, we can go two weeks, no wow. no problem. Nice. And we have 84 gallons of fresh. And it's uh, it's you and your wife and how and old Braxton, is your son? Braxton, our seven-year-old. Seven-year-old, yeah. so there's three of you guys in here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This you might find interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is, is one of those 120 volt under sink tanks. It, it's 2.6 gallons and it's the one that you put underneath your sink so you get hot water immediately instead the, of waiting five the minutes. constant hot water. Okay. Yeah, exactly. So it's a booster, but it's actually our main hot water. Is that your only source of hot water? Only source of hot water. Huh. Um, How long does that last? <laughs> uh, not a nice shower, not but a, a decent so Navy shower. showers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I actually just finally found uh, this company makes now a four gallon. Okay. It's on its way. So and it'll fit in that same space. Yeah. Oh, nice. Supposedly it is the exact same shell. Okay. Just the inside is different. Okay. Um, so we're gonna go from two point six to four. I oh am my. looking forward to my showers. <laughs> The problem is the tankless ones either have to be 240 volts yep. or they have to be propane. Yeah. And both of, of those heat. options yeah. did not work yeah. for us. It's a lot of heat exchange. So this is really the only outdoor storage we have, which is taking up half. That's the, uh, actually much larger than I was expecting. The crazy thing is, and one of those things you just don't think about until you have an RV, Half of these boxes are all RV related. Yep. Right? <laughs> it's all you have, outside stuff. <laughs> you have your fresh, you have your gray, you have your electric. And by the time all that is back here, you really don't have any storage yeah. for anything else. Yeah. That's one of my biggest pet peeves with RVs is they need so much equipment, yeah. yet they don't have the room for it. All right, uh, so coming up the side here. Uh, so you said originally this was like polished, where the white is was polished yes. like an Airstream. And then where the teal and the black runner board you said it was gold? Gold. Yeah, That's... that was their signature look. Wow. And the gold was not going to fly with us. And <laughs> I wasn't going to pay the money to get it polished. Right. So we just ended up painting it. I think that's about it for okay. the outside. Oh. Oh, yeah. Your door is interesting. <laughs> the factory, the original door was cut up to make these plates to cover up any of the the uh, holes that we needed to, that needed to be fixed. Really? So we used the material of the door to do that. And then we went, this is actually an Ikea kitchen countertop. Okay. Um, that we turned into a door. Huh. It's uh, seen better days, two years <laughs> on the road. I think it needs to be sanded down. It's a, it's a nice patina. <laughs> but uh, you know, it's, that's what? interesting. I like that's that's a very great use for this. So you have the same material and the same pattern. Right. Very right. cool. So you've got there and probably a couple pieces around the back. A couple the people, side. yeah, uh, pieces on the other side. There's like one big one where it's it's not the same, and I just oh, okay. ran out of material. Right. But yep. There's only so much to go around. Okay. So let's that one go looks ahead. familiar. That one right there. Yeah. That one does yeah. look familiar. Huh. Mm. <laughs> All right. Let's head inside. Interesting solution here. This uh, little magnetic mosquito shade. Yeah, it, one of those things where they don't make a size for this door. Mm. It's barely 24 inches wide <laughs> and extremely short. Uh, and yeah, they just don't make one. And I guess I could find a company to make one, but. You know, the funny thing is every time I call a screen company and say, hey, I need some work done for an RV, click. <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. I just can't seem to get anybody to do any work for me. That's no so, good. So. Come on, guys. So this thing actually works pretty well. It uh, does, yeah. And even this, it had to be cut on the top because 
this door is so short. I think it's 71 inches okay. tall. Yeah. All right. So there's a lot of switches right here. Yeah. Uh, so all our main lights, um, we have two fans, rock lights. That's from our four by four days. <laughs> We've got lights underneath nice. so we can see. And obviously the porch light. We've got our air conditioning control. This is really the only thing they give you. Okay. And then the inside half was up there. Okay. Yep. That's really all there is. And the main lines, 120 oh, volts. I've been in here for several minutes and didn't even realize. Yeah. You just kind of hit it right there. That's nice. Try it as much as possible. <laughs> so and apparently Braxton was hiding Batman. Okay. I did see Batman from outside, yes. <laughs> didn't even notice. All right, so you got a little electric fireplace down here. Electric fireplace, and this is a televator. Yep. Other than that, this is um, 120 volts. So my laptop's in here. I charge my batteries for oh, camera okay. equipment and things like gotcha. that. This is 12 volt. So we charge our game controllers and things. I see some Ikea bins. Those are yeah. Ikea doors, Ikea pulls. There's a lot of Ikea in here. I like yes, it. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, went crazy with Ikea. Um, Whoa, what is this? So this is a temperature gauge that tells me how the batteries and all our electric is doing. Okay. And it actually controls fans um, to cool the system down if it gets too hot. These are primary 12 volt these are primary 120 volt. And then the rest of your batteries are hiding down under the Yes. Batteries. If it's a pain, you don't feel like you have to open oh, it? Oh, no, no, no. It's easy. Oh, what? good lord. We have five Battleborns on the bottom. So 500 amp hours of lithium. We initially started off with 800 amp hours of AGM, and that was a huge mistake. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So um, it's gone straight to lithium? Yeah, lithium is the way to go. Yeah. We have our solar charger, our main grounds, main power, all our main disconnects, our inverter, and then our circuitry and our switchovers. So we have a little door on the side here. I can get to these switches and they control where power comes from and where it goes. Okay. If we get caught in a polar vortex in the bottom <laughs> of Texas, <laughs> our system's good enough to power everything except for running this because uh, we have no solar coming in yeah. because of the storms. I can run just this off the generator hmm. and then the rest can run off the batteries. Okay, that's, that's neat. Uh, speaking of solar, you said how many? Uh, we top? have 1,240 on okay. the roof. Gotcha. Nice. Yeah. All right. And then this looks like uh, more IKEA furniture, probably more, with storage. More IKEA. And this is actually our second one. We had the one that was just straight that folded into a queen. Okay. And you could lift the whole thing up and it had storage. Mm -hmm. So this one still gives us storage. Yeah. So we've got this oh, one huge, storage. Yeah. And then this one comes out and then folds up which makes it a great area to chill for yeah. movie nights. All right, so looking backwards from the nose, so we've got the main entry here. Uh, we've got a, a kitchen. I would call this a galley kitchen. Yes, and this is all Ikea. Yep. Pretty much. Yep. Uh, so that was pretty much straight out of the box, right? Yeah, and honestly, we designed this entire kitchen uh, at Ikea.com, which was amazing. Nice. And then on a Black Friday sale, got the whole thing for dirt cheap. Very cool. Uh, the nice thing that I like about these is not only do you not get caught on them, mm -hmm. but they also kind of, oops, what? that was a little harder <laughs> than I thought, but they, uh, they work a little with bit a of good, cushion. good cushion. Yeah. <laughs> just as like, damn, what are you doing? Uh, so yeah, it's all just kitchen stuff. Yeah. We use these magnetic locks. So on drive days, oh. we just yep. lock yep. it all nice. up. And okay. We got our Berkey. My biggest problem with Berkey is that there's no way to mount it down when yeah. you're moving. So as long as it's empty, we just use one of these and then just put it on the floor and call oh. it good. They need to make one that is square, yes. that has anchors or brackets or yes. something because yes. so many RVers have them. Yes. And it just seems like a no brainer. I love the fact that they're like, oh, just take this off, flip it around and put it in and store it. I'm like, yeah. I don't want to store the part that everybody touches <laughs> with the clean section. With the clean section. Yeah, yeah. Um, the yeah, but the rest it's all just 
kitchen, nothing special to see here. Half of this, I probably, this is kind of a, like a snack drawer <laughs> going on in there. Yeah, so there's no proper pantry. Like, this is this is it. This, this is it, yeah. And if you're wondering, we do have a um, portable induction top. A cooked top, yep. But we rarely use it. We just go outside and use the Blackstone. Yep. Um, we do have an air fryer that we love. Hmm. Um, so if the weather is not conducive to going outside yeah. and cooking, we use the air fryer. Gotcha. There's also the sink is back in the bathroom area, and we'll yes. get to that in just a second. <laughs> All right, so across from the kitchen, we have Braxton's room. Yes. So this was, initially we had a moving wall, but it honestly didn't work for us. It was one of those great ideas, but in the long haul, it just didn't work really well. Yeah. So now we have this, um, you undo this, we've got a table you can wa work on. And then we also have Braxton's bed. Wow. So we put this down, we have a curtain here and you just pull the curtain closed. Um, Braxton has his own Max Air Fan. That if he decides he's hot, he will just wake up in the morning, open yeah. it, and turn it on. And, all and this, that. I actually thought that was going to cut more into the walkway. No, it, it really doesn't. It, we had it so it would stay here. Yeah. Initially, we went with the wall, but Braxton's such a decent sleeper that mm. the curtains. Yeah. Enough. Yeah. For him, I love the uh, I love the space portal decals. Yeah, all this space stuff happened after we were in South Padre yeah. at SpaceX watching some uh, starships take off. And Very cool. And then you just have some some more storage furniture down here. This is all toys. <laughs> Those are uh, all your toys, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, our clam. It, this is pretty much where it hides oh, on yeah, moving outdoor, days. Outdoor, yeah. yeah, since we're moving tomorrow, it's already in here. Some of these are toys, some of them are <laughs> pantry. Honestly, I have no idea. We'll just call it all toys. <laughs> all toys. Yeah. And I am seeing uh, shapes on the floor. Yes. Uh, so this, for example, is access to our water pump. Okay. Um, she's fully sealed underneath, so you have to open these panels in order to get to any of the water fittings but by being fully sealed underneath you can't just crawl under and no start wrenching on things no, you gotta go no. from the top no the good thing is we have never had a critter problem that's good ever that's good 12 volt fridge freezer uh, this might go well or not <laughs> and so sometimes things just fall out it works great yeah the the only issue is that you have to defrost it every once in a while that's all right now we only have yeah, the camera angles are going to get really yeah, weird back here. Yeah, it's getting a little here. snug in here. <laughs> uh, we only have one sink. Okay. Uh, when we designed it, I was trying to figure out how to fit two sinks, and I'm like, why do I need two sinks? Yeah, that's... Uh, one, yeah. one sink does the job. So, yeah, this is your standard depth. It works well. We use it to do our dishes, everything for the kitchen, because you're right here. Mm -hmm. And if you're using it for the bathroom, we just have... <laughs> Yep. The door. That's great. And moving on, we have our bed. It is a jump. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's just because it, it needed to be this height in order to work with the window and to work with the, the original storage. door. Yeah. So half of it is storage, and the other half, we've got all our clothing. Other than that, we've got this. If you're wondering where we've been. We're still trying to keep track of it. We are about a month shy of two years. Okay. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Just it's a cork board and then the whole pins with the thing and we're up here somewhere there. <laughs> yeah. And then colors just signify the years. Uh, gotcha. There are three colors, but that's because we started in the middle of a year. So again, don't pay attention to the flooring. That's uh <laughs> the access panel for all the gray tanks and we're working on that oh right here yeah okay we have a couple of drawers underneath the bed we have our lovely composting toilets mm. if you are curious what exactly a composting toilet is and does please just google it <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not gonna get into that not getting into that <laughs> yeah. um and then we have our uh, our shower it uh, is also something that we're, we're going to redo 
Those are the water lines coming from that on-demand hot water heater back there? Yes. Okay. So there is no break between the lines from those fitting all the way to... Gotcha. So they come through this way and then down into that corner. Yeah, exactly. Gotcha. But again, I wanted to make sure I can get to every fitting, and I knew we were going to redo the shower sooner or later. Oh, so the shower head... Oh, it's like a quick connect. Yeah. Gotcha. It's just the sprayer. Well, we actually do have... There is one hiding. I can't pull this stuff off. <laughs> Sorry, we're working with small spaces here. <laughs> oh, there is one there. Yeah, there, oh, there okay. is one there. But we're redoing all of it. And again, I wanted to make sure I can get to um, yeah to all the, the plumbing. Is the roof solid as well? Like yes. you were saying the floor is. Yes. Okay, so you really... Unless you were really digging into it, you wouldn't be able to run those lines up through there. No, no. Okay. So this is a, another sliding yes. door yeah. to close that off if you wanted to. But you said you guys primarily just do this one? Yeah, we just use that. So then you get the full bathroom experience here. It's okay. tight. Yeah. You know what, though? It's an RV. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I really, I really do appreciate the dual-use sink. I think that's a, that was a very wise choice. The funny thing is that there are so many vans that have two sinks. Right. And it just never makes any sense, especially when they're like two feet apart from each other. Yeah. It's just like, it's like I'm going to wash this hand here and this hand yeah, right. here. It's like, what, what, what was that all Yeah, about? and those things are half the size and less than this. Yeah. Crazy. If you're wondering why we designed the floor this way, uh, the biggest challenge we had was A, design around the wheel wells, right. and B, design around the windows. Yeah, those gorgeous, gorgeous windows. The windows is what sold us. Yeah. Uh, we, we saw the trailer, and we saw the windows, and the minute we knew all the windows worked, <laughs> none of them were broken. We're like, that's it. We're wow. cutting you a check. And those, uh, they crank open? Is that... Yes, uh, they're old school cranks. Awesome. Uh, they they need cool. constant lubrication. Yeah. In order to work that well, but they they do work quite well. Very cool. All right, guys, that that's a cool trailer. I like Thanks. it. I like it a lot. So this is, uh, again, this is Dan and his wife, Jessa, from Home Meets Road. Uh, Jessa and Aaron are hanging out with all the kids over at our rig, so we had some nice and quiet to do this tour. <laughs> uh, but this is this is a great, great build. Uh, super fun. It's small. It's definitely small. I mean, there's no, there's no slides, but you made such good use of the space in here. Thank it's, you. I like it a lot. So what are you guys doing? Just go ahead and plug yourself real quick. We are a family of three that live full-time in our rebuilt vintage travel trailer. We try to share the good, the bad, and the ugly of building your own RV and living the nomadic life. Mm -hmm. So if that sounds remotely interesting to you, consider subscribing. Yeah, so Home Meets Road, there will be links in the description down below. They are also Roadrunners, and they are camping here with us because we are on our summer caravan. And uh, we are sharing our entire route with all of our Roadrunners. And uh, they saw the route and they were like, hey, yeah. let's meet up. So that's what happened. So we've been cooking out, hanging out, and having fun. So if you want to get in on that too, 5 to go.com slash roadrunners. I'm, you've heard us say it over and over, but we're having a lot of fun and there's still plenty to go. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.